Facebook, YouTube, what up? What's cracking? What's good, what's good. So we're back in the we're back in the studio again today. Um, just wanted to keep you guys updated as we're coming in. Um, typically, I think what's going to be happening is you're going to see us in here Tuesdays and Fridays. Um, obviously, it's a Thursday right now. Part of that is that um, we've got revival this week. Friday, Saturday, Sunday going on at the church. There's, it's all it's clear right now. Where there's already attacks. The enemy's already trying to attack right now. But it's God is so faithful, and I know that the Holy Spirit is going to rain down fire. It's going to be an Elijah moment. Was it Elijah or Elisha? Fire came down. So fire came down. That's what's going to happen this week, and the devil's going to be able to say, "God is greater," even though he doesn't want to. Anyways, getting back to things. Um, the topic for today. Hope. Um, Eric, what do we got on hope? What, what's something that's been able to pull you through times? Um, something that's build, built your hope, where you thought you lost hope or something? Oh, man, I just knew that he always had me. He always had me. That's, that's what keeps my hope alive, man. Just because I know that, you know, I'm going to make it there with the, with the help of him. He got me. He's always pushing. If I'm pushing, he's pushing harder. So, you know, it's it's whatever I, I, I put into it. If I sit back and allow myself to, you know, not do anything, to not grow, then there is, you know, very little hope. But I know if I, if I try and put forth effort, then, you know, there's a lot of hope because I'm, I'm, I'm pushing towards, you know, what, what, where I'm trying to go, what I'm trying to do. So, you know, just keep it. Keep it, keep it strong, you know, and know that, you know, no matter what you're going through at that moment, that, that, you know, it's just for a season. Everything is for a season, you know, that then seasons come and go. So stay strong in the Lord, man. Keep your focus on him, man, and just go hard at whatever you're doing. Amen. Amen. I, 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 I feel like I've got a stuttering problem. As you guys are going through life, don't lose hope. But at the same time, like I want you to know that our testimony gives other people hope. And our testimony really brings other people to the place like if I tell what God did for me, the Bible says this, the spirit of um, the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. And what Jesus has done for me, Jesus can do for you. And so like with that, the Bible talks about um, that we were predestined to um, to be conformed into his likeness. And so we were made to go through struggles. And so if we know that we were predestined to be gold, we, we understand that the process, the fire, the heating, the melting, the smelting, like we know that that is part of the process. And we've got something to look forward to. So as you are going through your life, know that you were predestined to be conformed into his likeness. Yeah. Uh. And it's so good. Yeah. He's the light in trials. My childhood. Man, it was bad. Yeah, it was good. Romans 8, 28. It was for my good. That time and season I never had understood. That I was a better man. And roaming a better land. And walking a better hand. Uh. The world they don't understand That when God says that it's for your good He'll make a better man of you Man, I love my Jesus Cause he brings me through my trials Man, I love my Jesus Cause so I count him my trials I love Jesus Cause he brings me through my trials And it's all Homie, I ain't playing with ya <laughs> And it's all good. <laughs> okay, that's hot. That's hot. That's hot. It's going to be a banger. Yeah, so that's a cold idea, man. We got this to start off of, and we're going to build off of that. Y'all going to hear some fire. Watch what we do with it. All right. Facebook, have hope. I love Jesus because he brings me through my trials. That's one thing that I can hope in. In my trials, I came up from Salem. That's one of the things that I did. I've rearranged kind of my, uh, God's rearranged my community. He's rearranged who I am. He rearranged my job situation. I'm working at North Salem High School. Never thought I would see myself doing that. 
but it's awesome. I love working with kids. This is this is awesome. Um, but he's really doing a process. But he's doing it for my good, and he's making me the better man. And Jesus is the one that's really in charge of my time. I know it's my job is really for him. This work is really for him. This church is really for him. All glory to God. Amen. Amen. That's what's Boom. up, man. It's a knockable. When you got nowhere else to go, you can go up. And it's all good.